Governor Ron DeSantis declared himself the number one target ahead of last night's GOP primary presidential debate. While he was at center stage, he was far from the center of attention. News Channel East Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean has more. A breakout moment is what Governor DeSantis needed last night, but he didn't necessarily get that. And that was largely due to his opponents quite literally arguing around him. While his opponents fought for the last word Wednesday night, Governor DeSantis fought to get a word in. And when he did, he stuck to the script. Our country is in decline. This decline is not inevitable. It's a choice. We need to send Joe Biden back to his basement and reverse American decline. Political experts think the governor not clashing with other candidates could ultimately cost him his campaign. DeSantis did not engage in the tussles between the other candidates. Again, this decision is related to, in some ways, his reticence to engage in a format when message control can be lost. In one of the most memorable moments of the debate, the camera did catch an unscripted and uncertain DeSantis. If former President Trump is convicted in a court of law, would you still support him as your party's choice? Please raise your hand if you would. The visuals oftentimes in these debates say more than the words themselves. Meanwhile, Florida Democrats claiming a victory of their own. You know who the real winner of last night's debate was? Joe Biden. But the biggest loser last night was Ron DeSantis. DeSantis's debate performance aside, he's back on the road in Iowa today, vying for voter support. Political experts tell me that Governor DeSantis isn't necessarily leaving this debate any worse than he came into it. But anything can change between now and that upcoming debate in September. That's latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Libby Dean, 8 on your side.